Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Georgi Matvey, sitting here at David's Guitar Loft Lesson Studio in Webster Groves, Missouri, right outside St. Louis. And today, I wanna to show you a cool trick. Okay, we're doing another rendition, another segment of Tech Tuesday, Technical Tuesday. And today, I'm gonna to show you how you can spice up your power chords by doing this one simple trick, okay? There's no, there's no funny business going on here, okay? My hair is doing a little bit of funny business, but that's okay, dude. We That's okay. We can get by with that. Okay, so yes, this is a technical Tuesday on how you can spice up your power chords, okay? Because we all know power chords, and power chords are great, but sometimes they're just a little bland. And so if you're making your own music and you know what key you're in, knowing that kind of stuff can really help spice stuff up for me. And I'm a sucker for spice, okay? They call me Mr. Spice. Yeah. So... Let's say you have this very generic power chord chord progression. Something like that, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't know what you're writing. But let's say it's something, yeah, like that. Okay, you hear that, right? We, we hear that. That sounds nice to our ears. However, let's add some dimension let's add some flavor let's add some color to this okay so let's assume we're in the key of g major okay so this first power chord we're gonna assume we're playing a g chord because we're playing the third fret we're gonna assume that's g major and then we move to the eighth fret okay that's on the eighth fret that's c so we're gonna just assume that's c major then we go down to the seventh fret I think in the original chord progression, we went to the fifth fret, but whatever. Let's say we go to the fifth fret, right? In the key of G, we're going to assume this is an A chord, which is the two. We're going to think of this one like an A minor chord. Okay, so we have G major, C major, A minor, right? Now the first thing people might do is they see this and they'll do the bar chord thing. Right? And that's fine, but that's totally fine. Do that. Okay. And I'm not going to yell at you for doing that. That's totally cool. But to me, sometimes when we're talking about this power chord thing, right, we, we are looking for something that's very compact, right? The tones all clustered in together. It's not this widespread sound across all six strings. We're wanting to keep this nice and tight. Okay. So what we're going to do is just apply some other chord tones in this, right? So if this first chord is G major, let's go ahead, play the third fret. Let's play the second fret on the fifth string. That's gonna give us our major third. And then let's play the fourth fret on the fourth string. That's gonna be our major seventh. So now we've turned this G power chord into this G major seven chord, right? And that, to me, there's a lot going on there in a very in only you know three strings. There's a lot more color. There's a lot more definition. There's just there's just more spice, dude. That's the thing, spice. And with all the, all these lesson videos I do, you guys see me use these chords all the time. I love them. Now I, I almost exclusively will find myself defaulting to chords like this over a power chord just because there's just so much extra goodness going on there. So yeah, we have this G major seven chord. G, B, F sharp. So then from here, we just, we can move this shape down to the eighth fret. Now we're playing C major seven. We have C, we have E, and we have B. Still falls in line in the key of G. Right, and so now we have this cool. And then when we go to the minor chord, we go to A minor, right? We can play essentially the same thing, right? If we're looking at how we are fragmenting these chords, it's root three, seven. And you can apply that to the minor chords. So from the fifth fret, sixth string, we have A. We play the minor third, which is C. And then we play the flat seven, which is G, I had a brain fart there. The flat seven in A minor would be G, right there. 
And so right there, there, there it is. There's your minor chord. Right, so now we throw all this together. We have. And to me, that, there's just a lot more going on there. I like it. That, to me, is nice to my ears. Maybe that's not your style, but all this stuff is obviously subjective. It depends on what you exactly you're going for, right? But to me, if I'm making music, sometimes I want, if I want a little bit more spice, and I'm not saying I don't use power chords. No, power chords are tight. I still use power chords, but sometimes it's nice to have options. And when I want to get a little bit more umph, a little bit more sauce, a little bit more spice out of my chords, I will go to these kinds of chords. So we got the regular version. Right? And that's cool, and that might be your jam. But now if you wanted to spice it up, it would sound something like this. Yeah, I don't know, to me that just sounds Sounds cool, sounds sick. But it's all subjective, right? Who, who am I to say if this is the right way? Uh, well, I, am, I guess I'm the authority figure. I'm the one talking about this. Well, okay. Let me say one more thing, actually. This completely like went over my head. Let's say you're like, you know what, dude? That's fine and dandy, but I like the five. I like playing my root and my five. All right, dude, sick. You can keep doing that. If you're gonna do that though, and you still wanna add a little bit of flavor, that seven is still there for you. So instead of doing the root three seven, which is probably what I would prefer to do, but I'm not against other ways, right? It's all about being adaptable. So you can play the roots five and seven here, right? And now you have this. So you still get that you know, power chord goodness thing that we all know with a, just, a, just a dash of a little bit of spice, just a dash, not, not a lot, nothing too jarring, just a dash. So that chord progression, keeping the, the fifth in there would sound like this. Not bad, not bad. I'm, I'm not mad at that at all. So you can do that, you can do the other way, you can blend the two, right? You wanna do, maybe you wanna do G like this. And then you do C with the fifth. And then you do your minor with the third or with the fifth. However, it's up to you, dude. It's easy though, it's cool. And I think that's gonna wrap it up on this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel, like the video, leave us a comment. Let me know what you think, let me know what you'd like to see us do next. We are always open for suggestions and we'll gladly consider them, yeah? And if you're ever in the Webster Grove, St. Louis area, come by the shop, play some guitars, play some amps. If you'd like to take a lesson with me or one of the other instructors here, we'll happily take you, right? So don't be a stranger, come say what's up and I'll see you in the next one, my friends. Take care, bye-bye.